Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to allow users to download files from your websites. For instance, if you had a personal portfolio and you want to allow the users to download your resume, well, you can do that by using the technique that I'm going to show you how to use in this tutorial. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need a file. I'm going to be using this resume.pdf. Once you have a file, go ahead and create a folder. And we're going to call this one download. All right, let's open up our VS Code. Let's open that folder. And now we're going to click Terminal new terminal and we're going to create a node.js project let's type in npm init this is going to ask us a couple questions they're not very important so we're just going to click enter to skip now we're going to install two packages that we're going to need for this project let's do npm i express and ejs let's give it a couple seconds while this downloads these packages all right and let's install one more this one npm i nodemon but for this one we're also going to include hyphen hack hyphen save hyphen dev now let's go over to our package.json and right underneath test here, we're going to be adding dev node1 app.js. Let's create this app.js file. And let's also create a folder. We're going to call this one views. And then within that, we're going to create a file called index.ejs. Let's create another folder. We're going to call this one public. Within that, we're going to create another folder called docs. And in there is where we're going to add the file that we want to download. So let's just grab it and then put it inside the docs folder. For the app.js, we're going to set it up so we can create our application here. So first, we're going to bring in the package that we just installed, which is the express, and this is our server. Now we're going to create an instance of express. We're going to start in this variable called app, and this is how we do that. And now we have to indicate what our view engine is going to be. And since we installed EJS, then that's what we're going to type in there. We also have to indicate that we want to use the public folder that we just created. And this is how we go about doing that. Now let's create a variable that is going to hold the port number that we're going to run this application or this server on and I always do this process.env.port or port 3000 if you have port 3000 in use then go ahead and use port 5000 and if you're wondering what this is doing this is for when we run this application on a service like Heroku it's going to be using this port as opposed to port 3000 now let's run our application or run our server. Let's include the name of the variable there. And let's do a console log here. And in here, we're just going to type server started on port. And let's include the name of the variable in there. Now let's run our server. 
So let's go back down here. Let's type in npm run dev. And if you did everything correctly, you should see server started on port 3000. Now we're going to create a route so we can output our index.ejs file. So let's do app get. And since this is the home page, we're just going to include that dash. And we have to do rec res the arrow. And we're going to do res, render, and then index. And we don't have to include .ejs. All right, now let's go over to our index.ejs file. And we're going to add our HTML in here. All we really need is to create a form with an action. And this is going to, let's call it a download file. Let's add a button in here. And this is going to be of type submit. This is going to access our server. And let's just type in download in here. All right, let's open up our browser. And let's go over to localhost port 3000. There's our button. Currently, if we click this, it's going to give us an error because it's looking for this route, which does not exist yet. So let's click back there. Let's go ahead and create that route right under our get route here we're going to create that route and it's going to be called download file and here we're going to type in res download and we have to include the path to the file that we want to download. Our file is located in public docs. And then we have to include the name of the file, which is for me, it's resume.pdf. We're ready to go. Let's go back over here. And now when we click this, it should download the resume.pdf file. And there we go. If we click that, of course, it's going to show it because it's a PDF file. But if it was a music file, for instance, then it would play it on your computer. And that's how you go about downloading files from your website. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If this works for you, please make sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. If this does not work for you, however, you can go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Leave me a comment as well. Tell me what happened and I might be able to point you in the right direction. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.